How's it going everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to show you how to increase your FPS and fix stuttering and packet loss in the brand new Counter-Strike 2. This guide will include some of the new optimizations you've probably never seen in CSG and work for all low-end and high-end systems. So this video will ensure you will have the absolute best experience possible whether your system is old or new. So before we get started, make sure your windows are up to date as well as you have installed the latest drivers. This can help you improve overall system performance. So if you guys like this video, let me know your results in the comment section down below. So let's jump into the video. Let's start with some of the major window settings to change. So in settings go to system. Then scroll down a little bit, click on about. Then click advanced system settings on the right side. Then click settings under the performance section. And tick adjust for the best performance. Then tick show thumbnails instead of icons. And smooth edges of screen fonts. Click apply and click on OK. And go back to the home page. Now navigate to the gaming tab. Then turn off game bar and uncheck this option as well. After that go to the game mode. And make sure to turn on game mode. After that go back to the home. Now navigate to the privacy tab. Then scroll down until you see background apps. And turn off let apps run in the background. Next, we are going to disable CS to full screen optimizations and set its graphic preference to high. So if you don't know how to find the CS to game file installation location, simply open up Steam. Right click on Counter Strike 2. In Manage section click on Browse Local File. Now double click on Game Folder. Then click on Bin. Win64. Now right click on CS to Application. And click Properties. Then go to Compatibility. And tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations. As well as Override High DPS Scaling. After that click on OK. Then click Apply. And click OK. Now click on this file location path. And copy it. Then search for Graphic Settings and click on Browse. Now you need to paste the CS to file location that we copied earlier. Then click on CS to application and click Add. Now click on its options and choose High Performance and click Save. Next, you need to download my Counter-Strike 2 optimization pack from the link given below in the description. Once you download it, extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR. Then go to the first folder so before we apply any of these tweaks, we need to create a restore point just in case something goes wrong. So double click on create a restore point. Then make sure your system drive is on. If not, simply click on configure. And then you can turn on your system drive. After that click apply and OK. Now click on create. And name it to whatever you like. Then click on create. Once it is done, you can apply the tweaks. Also, if you want to know what these tweaks do to the PC, simply right click on it and click edit. And at the top, I have briefly explained what the tweak is about. So I suggest you check this out on every registry tweak before you apply. So simply double click one of the registry file. Click yes, then click OK. Now do the same thing for the other registry tweaks as well. The next folder is batch files. Open up BCD timer latency tweaks. So disabling these timer latency options can reduce your system latency and stuttering in games. Simply double click on the batch file and it will also mention to you what the tweak is about. After it is applied, hit enter and do the same thing for the other two as well. In high precision event timer, if you get an error, it means the HPT is already disabled on your system. So after that, run the next batch file and when it's applied, hit enter. Now you need to restart your PC and jump into the game and see if there are any improvements. And if you want to change these settings back to the default, simply go to the revert folder and run all the batch files and then restart your PC. Next, go to the power plan folder. Now, for laptop users, I would recommend going with the high performance power plan. And those who are on desktops, definitely use the ultimate power plan. Simply go to the power plan you want and then double click on the batch file. Then go back and double click on power options and select the ultimate power plan. Once you have done that, move on to the third folder. So this tweak basically determines whether your CPU focuses more on the current task or the background tasks. If you don't know about Win32 priority separation, I highly recommend you watch this video, as this video will fully guide you through Win32 priority separation. 
So what you need to do is test every single hex value on your PC. The best hex value will definitely increase your game's performance by 10 to 20%. Once you have done that, move on to the fourth folder. So setting CS to do high priority allocates more CPU resources, which will improve the game's performance. So simply apply the high priority registry entry. And if you want the default priority, simply apply the normal priority registry entry. After that, move on to the fifth folder. So large pages is a feature in your memory that we'll only have in modern computer systems. In most systems, the standard page size is 4 kilobits. This means that the virtual memory is divided into 4 kilobytes chunks. So a large page contains 2 megabytes. This can reduce the number of page table entries needed to map a certain amount of virtual memory to physical memory. As a result, this can reduce stutters and give you a smooth gameplay. However, to enable large pages, you need to have a 64-bit operating system and a minimum of 8 gigabytes of RAM. So if you don't know what you have, go to settings and then system, then scroll down and click on about. And on the system type, check whether you have a 64-bit operating system. And on the installed RAM, check if you have 8 or more than 8 gigabytes. If you have these requirements, then enable the large page registry tweak. Once you have done that, Boot into the game and see if there are any improvements, if not, use the default registry, which will disable the large pages, after that move on to the 6th folder. Then open the console commands text document. So these are the best working console commands for Counter-Strike 2. I also provide explanations for each of these commands, so be sure to read them before you apply. So copy a command, then go to the settings in the game, then go to the game tab and under the game section. Then on enable developer console option, select yes. After that go back to the menu. Then press the tilde key on your keyboard. Then press the control key and V key together on your keyboard and hit enter. Now do the same thing for other console commands as well. Also, you only have to put this command once and it will apply forever. After that open the launch commands text document. So the only thing you need to change here is your refresh rate. To the frec command, you can check your display refresh rate. I go into the advanced display settings. So mine is 60 Hz. If yours is more than that, simply change it in here like this. And then copy the command. Open up Steam. Then right click on Counter Strike 2. And click on properties. Now paste the command in launch options. Now launch the game and see if it benefits or not. For low-end systems, it appears to be reducing game performance by using high command. If this happened to you, simply delete the high command, including the dash. Then check if it fixes your lag. If not, just don't use any launch commands. Next, move on to the last folder. So these batch scripts will remove all the necessary files from your PC. Simply double-click on a batch file and wait for it to say. Press any key to continue. Now do the same thing for other batch scripts as well. Next, we are going to reduce ping and fix packet loss in Counter-Strike 2. First of all, download this pack from the link given below in the description, and then extract the file, and open it up. So to fix packet loss and lower the ping, you need to have Group Policy Editor. However, if you have a Windows Home Edition, you will not have access to the Group Policy Editor. For that, simply go to the Enable Group Policy Editor folder, and then right-click on the batch file, then click on Run as Administrator. Then it will take a couple of minutes to process the group policy services and tools. After it's done, restart your PC. After that, open up the QoS Tweaks folder. First, we need to enable QoS drivers. So double click on the enable QoS driver registry. Then click yes. And click on OK. After that restart your PC. Now open up the text document. Then copy this command. And search for PowerShell. Then click on Run as Administrator. Now press Ctrl and V keys together in your keyboard. And then hit Enter. After that again restart your PC. Now right click on your Windows icon. And click on Run. Then type gpedit.msc. And click on OK. Now expand Windows Settings. Then click on Policy Based QoS. And right click on it. And click on Create New Policy. Now you need to copy and paste the game name here. After that change the DSCP value to 46. Then click on next. Now in here, check only applications with this executable name. After that, in the text box, you need to type cs2.exe. 
the executable name needs to be exactly like this, especially the .exe should be here. Once you've done that click on next. Then in here, again click on next. Now change the protocol type to TCP and UDP. And finally click on finish. Now open up your game and see if there are any changes. Also, this method will not work for everyone, as it will only work if your network router has a feature called SCP, which is Secure Copy Protocol. And if you want to check if your router supports the SCP feature, simply log into your router's web interface, then navigate through the Settings or Advanced Settings section to find information related to file transfer protocols. If the SCP is supported, there may be a section called SSH or File Transfer Settings where you can configure SCP. Also, if you ever wanted to revert this, simply expand the policy-based QoS and right-click on the game name, then click on Delete Policy and click Yes. Next, we are going to take a look at the best in-game settings. So in Settings go to the Video section. So if you are struggling to get FPS, I highly recommend using a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. This will definitely reduce the lag in game. However, the amount of side detail you see with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio will be less than 16 by 9. But you will get used to it with a few matches. And for resolution, use these recommended options according to your PC specs. For me, I'm going to use 1280 by 960. This is the best resolution that I find easy to play with, and it does not lower the quality as well. And then for the display mode, make sure to set it to full screen. Then for the refresh rate, select the highest number you have. After that, apply the changes and move on to the advanced video tab. Then, simply change the current video values preset to low. After that, change the fidelity FX super resolution to the highest quality, which is disabled. With this disabled, you can have the highest quality in the game without losing much performance. However, if you want more FPS, you can choose the performance option. But this setting will give you absolutely worse visuals than the oldest Counter-Strike game. Next up, we are going to reduce the shadow quality through the config file. So I cannot guarantee that this method will work for everyone. There are some users whose lower shadow quality in the config file has given them a significant FPS boost. This can also be easily reverted back to the default. So it's worth a try. So right click on the Steam icon and click Open File Location. Then scroll up and click on User Data. Then click on this random numbers folder. Then go to the 730 folder. Then double click on local folder and CFG folder. Now open up CS to file video in a text document. Then scroll down until you find the shadow texture override. Before we change anything, make sure to take a note of the current shadow width and height value so you can change it back to the default if you need it. So here are some recommended shadow texture resolutions to test out. Simply type the resolution you want, then save the file and exit it out. Then right click on the video text document and click on properties. Now check the read only box. Doing this can prevent automatically changing the resolution. So make sure to do this. Once you've done that click apply and click OK. After that boot into the game and click on play. Then click on practice. Now select any map that has shadows. So I'll go with dust 2. Then look at your own shadow to see if there is a difference. If you put the low resolution shadow texture, the shadows will be a little bit more pixelated than normal. Also, don't forget to check the FPS as well. And if you want to change it back to the default or to a different resolution, simply get back to this folder and right click on the CS2 video file and click on properties. Then uncheck red only box and click apply. Click OK. Then double click on the video file. Now you can change shadow textures to anything you like. So if you're sticking with the default shadow texture, don't tick the read-only option. Lastly, we are going to reduce Steam memory and CPU usage. So whenever you're going to play, simply hover over the view at the top and click on small mode. So this is a stripped down version of the Steam that is just your library without the any store page and community. This allows you to reduce CPU and memory usage, which can help out the games you play. So if we take a look at the task manager, as you can see, the memory and CPU usage is low when we compare it to the normal Steam. To play the game simply double click on it, or right click and click play. 